Welcome back. Hello. I'm the Sandy ABG. This is Nate, and we got we got the Universal Yums today. This is the snack box. I look forward to this box every month. There you know are, who else does me? These are do. always awesome. These are always awesome. I believe this box is Italy, or we said Wait. like uh, Rome, or like or Italy. Like that was our 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 guess. Our guess. Yes. Um, I stabby. have some new stuff that I want to uh, bring up to you guys. I'm scratchy. Um, I'm planning on expanding my food section of my channel. A, I would like to know, do you want me to do that? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of testing of it, but I, I'm going to start something called the Best of Series, where best we take best favorite best things best that of. we like or you suggest, and we buy a whole bunch of different brands of that item, and we try to determine the best. Uh, first episode is going to uh, probably come out in uh, early 2019, and it's the best of root beer because I root beer, root, beer. root beer is yeah. one of my favorite sodas. So it's true. Um, I'm going to do the best of root beer, and I'm going to try to pick all the all the ones that are available to us here. Um, unless you guys want to send us some root beer, that'd unless be cool. unless you want to uh, like tell me a brand and I can look it up on Amazon and try to pick it there or, or something like that, but. Yeah, we were completely wrong. Really? We were completely wrong. It's not Italy at all. <laughs> uh, but anyway, going back to that topic, just let me know. I'm um, starting a food section. Um, if you guys don't want it, let me know. But if you guys do, I hope you get involved. So Food's always good yes. for people like me. Food is yummy. And, and if you guys really like the food boxes, maybe I'll add another food box. Yeah. So. We, I mean, food boxes are fun, especially Universal Yums. I like what you do, Universal Yums. Yes. I'm not used to wearing long sleeves, so, but it's winter. This is the December box, right? Or is this it is November? Netherlands. Ooh. Netherlands? Netherlands. Yes. Which is, Netherlands. I'm a little curious. They didn't do the flag really big. Yeah, it's it's just, really tiny yeah, in the it's corner. Yeah, it's a map. That's weird. And it's like a little map of food, I guess. Clogs and Gouda and Stroopwafels and Amsterdam and Red oh, Cadillacs. Oh, thank God. Uh, there's a, a, a little thing right here. It says, oops. Right at the top. Oops. So yeah. I read it. It says, we told you there are a lot of licorice in this month's box. We yeah. didn't tell you the right one. So, um, oh, maybe there still is licorice. I don't, yeah. I'm not really a big fan of licorice. So, I don't know. Um, when when I saw that it might not be there, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Like, yeah. give me different uh, snacks. Um, this is the Netherlands book. Yes. So maybe they're just updating the, the look of their, their product or their material. Which I'm cool with. Because the book's even Wait, different, does too. The, does the back have... Yeah, it still has the best, second best, worst, weirdest, okay. fun with idioms, solve the secret puzzle to find out the next one for family to do as, I'm opening the book yeah. on the left. Left book. Um, we're going to go ahead and place the box like this. And so, I'm going to go ahead and read what we're choosing first. I hope we got Stroop waffles because you're supposed to eat those warm. So that's going to be weird. Item number one. Stroop waffles. Max and Alex Choco Stroop Waffle. Delicious. So I've actually had Stroop Waffles before. I have too. And I, I'm I'm on the fence with them. Like I, I like them, but at the same time I can only handle like a one or two of them and I'm Yeah. Like, and you're like Oh wow. Are they at the bottom? They are buried. Ooh. No, oh, that's just right there. Oh, so you can see caramel is chocolate covered stroop waffle. Nice. Because, guys, how some people enjoy their Stroop waffles is they drape it over their coffee cup. So they have their coffee cup right here, and they put it on top. And then the heat of your coffee steams up the Stroop waffle. Makes it nice and tasty. Even do it in quarters. Yeah, do it. Hook it up. So, looks good. It looks like a Stroop waffle. The caramel I had before. really strings out when you break it, so that's really cool. Yes, it looks like a it's delicious a cookie, though. Different Boom. type of Stroop waffle, though. Like I've yeah, not like had one, one like this. Yeah, no, this is so. more cookie-ish, not like wafer cookie-ish. So, cheers. Tastes like a really fancy Twix. Same consistent or same texture as normal Stroop waffles, like. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Not soggy, but like really soft cookie, like really soft, and crumbly. And as I've said, it's kind of reminding me of a Twix, like a. Kind of a chewy Twix. Yeah, that's all it is. Flavor, exactly like a Twix. Um, caramel is really creamy. Um, and the cookie is really soft. And, and buttery. Crumbly, and crumbly and buttery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Seven and a half, says Nate. Still not overly 
hyped about it since. Yeah. So. Still tasty, though. Good job, Netherlands. Um. Now, we're moving on to Auto Drop Bostos Truto Cadillacs. I hope I said that right. I'm trying to. Nice. They did say red Cadillacs are famous, whatever those are. Let's see you try to pronounce that. Auto Drop Bushun Tendron Cadillacs. <laughs> yeah. And why do you guys like Cadillacs so much? See it? Mmm, tasty. I didn't it do that with the first one. famous for red Cadillacs. Like. Buggle your seat belt for this famous candy. Why do you guys like cars so much? It looks like a Swedish fish. It does look... It's uh, really gummy. It does look like Strong a... Strong gummy scent. Like the generic gummy scent. Give it a whip. And it's an old Cadillac. Yeah, it's like, like a, a 57. Yeah. Because well, you can tell because of the big fins it's on the back. The big fin on the back, yeah. Alright, cheers it. Tastes, it smells like strawberry. Hard gummy. Like they took a pillowy gummy bear, like a big one, and they compressed <laughs> it real hard into a Cadillac shape. Really strong strawberry flavor, though. I do like how strong the flavor is, though. It's actually good strawberry, unlike the artificial strawberry we get here when it just tastes some sugar. It kind of gets stuck in your teeth. Yeah. Very, very... Oh, no, we had a car accident. Ah! Hard gummy and strawberry flavored. Good strawberry flavored. I'm going to stick with a 7. I'm I gonna... like gummies, but... I'm going to go with a 7 on this one as well. That's not bad. I, I do like, actually I like it. actually pretty good. It's like a hard strawberry candy and a Swedish fish had a baby. Okay, next one. This is the big bag. The Chio Pombar. <laughs> Which is Those are bears. Potato crisp with paprika. Mm. Hold up. Oh god, this is gonna be the same, like air puff, pocket. Why are those so popular? No matter where you go, <laughs> they just like them. They're cheaper. Oh man, and they are in the shapes of smiling bears. I mean, someone calling me. It's unique. Yeah, why the hell is someone calling me? Okay, I think it's my friend Steve. I don't know. All I'll right. answer it later. Okay, sorry. Paprika. Don't they know I'm YouTubing? Paprika. Chips. Chips. Mm. I'm just annoyed that I got a phone call on the show. It's pretty good. I would buy these. They're actually really good. I'm. These are really good. What do they remind me of? Like a really greasy potato crisp. Like a bottom of the bag potato crisp. You know, the ones that are, have extra grease and extra flavor. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of those. Kind of like Tim's. It does really, really remind me of something, but I cannot place it. It's, it's not heavy on the, the paprika flavoring. It's a very, it's very nice chippy. blend of potato paprika. I love it. Like, That's really good. That is really good. I really like that, actually. It's, it's puffy enough that it, it doesn't feel like you're eating anything really heavy. And I do like that they're shaped like adorable little bears. Nine, baby. That was really tasty. Eight. Yeah. Eight. I'm giving it an eight. That was really, really good. Big ups to the Nederlands for making that. Next on the list, this is uh, Roca Gouda Mini Cheese Crisps. Mm -hmm. And they're like little square crisps. And they're Gouda flavored. Ooh. I like cheese. You know, it's a Gouda when it's a Gouda. <laughs> it's a Gouda. I'm feta up with your jokes. Oh, dear. Oh, a really strong cheesy smell. Oh, one of my favorite cheeses um, is Gouda? that I ever had was, um, it was a Irish stout um, smoked Gouda. That smells, that smells good. That sounds good. That sounds really good. So let's just go into it. Boom. Ready? Three. Two, one. Very buttery, crackery. I ate a lot of them at once, and it's overpowering. I ate like two, and it is really strong. I don't want He's the fighting texture. It. Texture's weird. I Again, really it, it's like texture. a club cracker. Really cheesy. Okay, so the flavor to me really suggests... Um, I can taste the Gouda. The Gouda is there. Yeah. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. What the fuck? Um, well, I left a message. That's what that was. Uh, but it's 
It's very similar to like a light Gouda flavor with an oyster cracker. That's a good way of putting it, yeah. That's what it tastes like. But the texture is completely different. It's like as soon as you put it in your mouth, it like melted like into mush. And I, I did not like that at all. Flavor, solid, mushiness is okay. I can put up with it. I'm still going to give it a 7 just for the flavor. 5. Mm. It's already 5. And thank you. And the, I love Gouda. Pena Fial for the pineapple soda. Uh, you didn't sponsor us, but mm, I just like pineapple things. Uh, I love pineapple soda. It's the best. Mm, Uber's the best. Yeah, we'll get it. <laughs> it's the second best. Okay. Next is the Roca Cheddar and Raspberry Cheese Crisp. What the hell combo is that? So, same company, same crisp look. But this time with raspberry. It's cheddar and raspberry. That's either going to make me puke, or I'm going to be like, hmm, not bad. So, uh, I already know the texture is going to be bad. Bad. I don't like the texture. Oh, it looks like they're bigger crackers, though. Look, they, ooh. Yeah, they're bigger crackers. Oh, they're, they're really flaky, though. Oh, my God. There's whole chunks of raspberry in there. I'm going to take one. Oh, my God. Yeah, smells really cheesy. I, I'm, I'm curious about the flavor combination. That's just kind of curious, so... Go. Oh. Same texture. What the fuck's mm -hmm. going on with my phone? Oh. Oh. Lol, lol, lol. People are tweeting to me. I would just ignore it. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm not professional. Another bite. I can taste the raspberry. Yeah. I can taste the cheddar. The cheddar is a little bit more milder than the raspberry to me. Mm hmm. Does the not work. The raspberry pockets, though, you can tell when you hit one, mm -hmm. it's a little bit chewier. It's like they put jam or something in there. Yeah, it's very... Very sweet, very jammy. I mean, the the raspberry does overlay the cheddar regardless throughout the chip, but you get little pockets of, like, high raspberry, like, mm -hmm. really high notes. Um, but I do not think the flavors combined at all. Four. Three. 2-1 blast off. That was weird. That Don't combine those. Stop. Nederlands, you had the Cadillacs, you had the Bears, you won. I was expecting a higher quality snack coming out of the Netherlands. Yeah. Very higher quality snack. And um, But guys, we're not even halfway through the box yet, baby. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, we're halfway through the box, baby. This is the halfway point right here. I right think. here. Um, this is... Uh, the raspberry Grote flavor lingers, too. Orange it's pastilles. Mmm. So, yeah, good. Take a drink. Get good. that cheddar. Get that cheddar out of your face. I want to see these. They're pasteles. They look really good, and the mm -hmm. box is really fancy, as you the can see. The box is really cool and fancy. I like, I don't know. It's probably a bitch to put on the shelves in Nederlands. Got to knife it. Mm -hmm. Got knife skills. There we go. Boom. Get out of here, John Rambo. What I'm noticing so far from what we've tasted is that yeah. Netherlands savory snacks leave you wanting something else. Yes. Uh, Netherlands sweet snacks take you up a notch. Tasty stuff. When they try to combine savory and sweet Ugh. no. Don't. Okay, Never so these are that. like little wafers. But you know me I love wafers. They look like little discs as yeah. well. I don't know if the, we showed this to you but they I, I, smell I, I, hella strong. Like Yeah they're very orange. Like Very orange stick. Just to like, me the description of this oh. reminds me of those like Chocolate oranges, yeah, the that you Jeremy slam orange, and yeah, and the they, Jeremy ones. Yeah. yeah, I'm imagining it's going to be similar to the same. So. Probably. Let's do it in three, two, one. Oh, solid chocolate all the way through. Mm -hmm. No filling. Really strong orange flavor. Ex it's exact. exactly like a Jeremy's orange. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah. There's something else in there though. There's like little there's chunks. Crunchies, yeah. Orange crisps. So mm -hmm. little little orange nuggets or something like that. It's or like the skin. Like a marmalade skin. Like they just like dry it out. It's probably like a crystallized or sugarized orange, zest. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. It's it's very similar to a texture really, of toffee. Yes. Toffee chunks. Really say like really sweet, hitting the back of my jaw with flavor. I love mm -hmm. that. I've always loved the the, the smacky smashy oranges. oranges. Yeah. Smacky oranges. <laughs> That's what we're calling them now. Smacky change orange. your change your name. Eight out of ten. Those are good. Nine out of ten. That was tasty. I love it, but it's something we have here in America, so I'm not 
too keen on too well, thrilled about it being if I, in another if, if I fly to the Netherlands, I'll pick these up. I'll go to the local shops and I'll pick up a box or two of that. That's tasty. Yeah, but this is something that like I'd be like, oh, you remember those orange things we got from Netherlands? I'll just go to the store and grab one of those orange. <laughs> like, yeah. so I'll it doesn't feel as spe- special to me. So. Yeah, unlike those uh, bear pups. Mm. Yeah, those bear pups. I did like those bear pups. Those were good stuff. All right, looks like we got another uh, Autobahn. Oh, man. These are double deckers. Uh, flute and licorice flavored gummies. I'm doing that face, man. They're, they're doing some combinations again. And these are, I, sorry. Okay. People are going to get mad at me. I hate black licorice. I'm not licorice racist. I just. No. Like. What? Wrong thing? Did you open the wrong thing? Do we, do we, do we miss a page? No, this is probably what they said oops about. Oh. Because it shows here that it's fruit and licorice flavored gum, gummies. They're called double deckers. But these are called Zot Wagons. Okay. So this, I'm not sure what the so flavor they, this so is. So they probably effed up a little bit and they got the wrong thing or they said, oops, we meant something else. They still look like licorice. No, they don't. They still smell of licorice a little bit. Yeah, look, no, they're they gummy. don't. Well, they, what do they smell of? Coffee. Oh my God, you're right. Vince is going to need a bag. Or is he not even going to try it? No, I'm... The only the thing, like, I hate coffee. I hate coffee. Like, yeah, sometimes it really makes me gag. But, um... So what I'm thinking, Vince, is coffee flavor, cream flavor. You ready to cheers it? These are the semis that are going to crash into each other. <laughs> cheers. What is that flavor? That's molasses. That has to be a molasses. Yeah, because it's not coffee and it's... Yeah. Where's the oops thing? The oops thing is right here. Sorry. Okay, yeah, it's on here. That's what they replaced it with. Okay. Okay. No. Oh. Um. Talk about a train wreck, am I right? That is so weird. Wow, we're completely wrong. I do not like these... Yeah, what is the flavor, though? It's licorice. Yeah. Um, there are three flavors in the bag. Or it's co- oh, a, a combination oh, of three I see, I see, I see, I see. Because, look, if you dig into it, here's uh, here's one, and I got the dark one. So you'd really have to try all three flavors. What's the middle color one flavored like? That one is toffee. So that's the one I'm... That's the one you, yeah. I'm willing to try okay. better. Because this one was bad. That's salt and licorice. Yeah. That that is horrible. I don't know. I'm gonna try the toffee one though. I'm gonna try the toffee one as well. Cheers, this as well. Bop. No. No. Two, two. Get that out of here. That's awful. Look, you can see Vince's face. That was no. That didn't. That does not taste like toffee. At all. Is there another flavor in there? I think you fucked up, but that one tastes more like licorice and salt than that one does. That must have been toffee. That must have been licorice and salt. Because I can taste more licorice in that one than I can in this one. It says the three flavors used in this uh, package are toffee-flavored trucks, salty tank trucks, and luxury licorice cement trucks. What the fuck? Sorry, it's a bad word. Two. What do you give it, Vince? One. Wow. Never mind. I 1. gagged. 5. Yeah, that was awful. I gagged. Like, that literally was gagged. Now my I have not had a out. single snack on this entire box that I've, I've like, literally, like, yeah. gagged on. I, I forced it down. You saw my fucking face. Yeah, that was... That was weird. Disgusting. I sloshed my pineapples. I would really like the fruit and licorice gummies that you originally promised, because that... Th- those are going right in the bin. Those are... No. No, that was disgusting. Worst ever. <laughs> Yummy. <clears throat> That's what I have to say. Well, I'd rather have a raspberry cheddar biscuit. I, I want to move on to the next one before... So I can cleanse my palate. Yeah. Here is the next one. This is Jan Hagel. Spiced cookies with peanut and pearl sugar. That sounds better. That sounds a lot better. Please At least this is what, isn't what we ended on. Yes. Oh, God. If that was an ending note, I would have cried. I would have cried. Man, tears. Oh, God. 
All right, so these kind of have a shortbread slash Ooh, yeah, like peanut a brittle yeah. um, look Oh, to my them. God. Let's give them a smell. You know what it reminds oh, me of? Heavenly. You know what this reminds me of? What? Do you remember the Teddy Grahams? Oh, yeah. There you go. They do, yes. They smell like a big handful of Teddy Grahams, and that makes me nostalgic. Right. Boom. Go in. Oh, my God. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. It is That's very like much... A really strong Teddy Graham. Like, the cinnamon really shines. Yes, it does. It's like a cinnamon sugar Teddy Graham. And it's got to like the nth degree. That shortbread, buttery flavor, cinnamon, and peanut. Yes. Whoa. Holy crap. Heaven. We, we went from pure ass cheeks <laughs> to the best thing on the planet. Nine and a half. This is good. Nine. This is fantastic. That is the best. Mmm. Mmm. I want another one. <laughs> okay. Now. I'm saving this. The box goes away. Bye, box. Mm, no. And we get to the candies. Dude, but seriously. No. I can't. <laughs> I can't. This was so good. Okay, sort them candies out. I'm unfortunately going to have to palate cleanse that cookie. Yeah, that was... That's so why I grabbed another one because I know I'm going to want it. Before your wife eats all our candy. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If, if you guys don't know, like, we eat the box, um, and we used to... Like, split um, it out. Just split it up, like, hey, you take a snack, I'll take a snack, because he doesn't live with me, he goes yeah. back home. Um, but now what happens is we try all the candies, and then as soon as we're done with the box and recording, my wife comes in and goes, ooh, what do I want? <laughs> what do I want? And she just and takes all, what she wants yeah. and leaves. Oh, you gotta give her all these. Yeah. Mm, yeah say, say uh, those are great. Oh, these are fantastic. The honey, honey, honey you know, trust those me, are fantastic. so good. You'll love these. You'll Just eat every them. single one in one <laughs> bite, believe me. Oh, my neck. Okay, first on the, this one is the Dutch pralines. Mmm, I like um, pralines. Yes, I do. these right here. I'm wondering if they're... Um, okay, so there's different flavors. Okay. Um, it shows that there is hazelnut cream... Cereal crisps. That and sounds good. Cappuccino cream. So if you get one of the three, you'll be upset. So but... I'm assuming the ones with the just the brown or goldish ends are cappuccino yeah. cream. Um, the Can other two are. Crisp? Or do we get any cereal crisps? Are unknown. Oh, it, it shows right here. Okay. Here's the creamy crisp. Okay, I want the creamy. These crisp. two are the cappuccino, and this is the hazelnut. So okay. Um, we... Maybe just take half of it. Yeah. So I can try it after okay. the show. Okay, it is. Like a Lindor truffle. Okay. Just like that. So I'm going to bite I'm, right down the middle. I myself am doing the hazelnut cream. And I'm going to do half it. of it. Boop. And I'm going to bite right down the middle. Man. And if you look at the inside, it is like a, a Lindor. Creamy exactly. right in the middle. Mine's a chocolate on the inside. Mm. And by crispy cereal, it's rice. Puffed rice, rice krispies. Mm. Hazelnut is awesome. It, is, it tastes exactly how how you want it to. Like it's it's. That's honestly, like that's like you took the flavor of a crunch bar, yeah. condensed it three times the crunch bar flavor. If you go, if I don't know if they have them, I I've never bought in a lot of them, but the Lindor chocolates, yeah, truffles. If they have a hazelnut flavor, I'm assuming it's gonna taste exactly the same. Good stuff though. The Chris Rice, I'm assuming... I mean, I haven't seen anything like that here. Yeah. So that one is unique. The cappuccino, I just... You're just like, no thank you. I'm not a cappuccino person, so yes. it, it, it falls short for me. Yes, but that was very good for the But based Chris off these one. two flavors, um, did I, you like that one? I did. It was very, very crunch bar-ish, but just a concentrated flavor of it. I'm going to give it an 8. And I actually still... I don't know... I don't see a lot of people still buying Crunch Bars. I do. Yeah, Crunch Bars are tasty. I, I love Crunch Bars. They're tasty. But they have to be Crunch Bars. They can't be off-brand because off-brand, they don't know what the f*** they're no, they're No, they don't because they're like, there's like two Rice Crisps in the entire bar and you're like... And also, they the crisps taste funny. So Yeah, it's true. I'm going to go with good. Faith on this one and I know I love that one. I'm going to go with a solid 7.5. That's good. 7. Thank 5. you, rating system, Vince. Thank you, numbers, wherever you put them on the screen. I don't know where they are. Did you? you yeah, I said it's an eight. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, see, future Vince knows. Well, future Vince has already got that up there. Yeah, I did. So. Okay, good job, future Vince. Um, next, next is the Holland Hop Jays. 
Oh dear. What's this one? Black licorice. <laughs> Switzerland. Why are you hate me so much? Coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Let's see. It's gonna be hard too. You ready to spit this out? Yeah. Okay. Vince is not a coffee <laughs> boy. Uh, oh, I already did. Oh, you'll hate it. It's it's coming out for Vince. Yeah, he's no. That's really strong. That's yeah. Like your, you know, the coffee flavor Jelly Bellies. Exactly. No, that. The... Vince and I are like mentally connected today. Ugh. The flavor dies out a little bit once you leave it in there a little oh, bit. Oh man, even the coffee flavor ruined my pineapple flavor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that. I'm gonna say still four. not worse than those. I'm still gonna say four on that. I don't want to eat the whole thing because it is a crunchy hard candy. Yeah, I'm 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 going with that two. Yeah, two on that one, Vince. Two. I just, just don't like coffee. coffee. Yeah, coffee. No. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, I hope it's good. We have. What's Milk that? Ooh Taffy. Ooh. And like, there's a it, cow on it. It's literally Chewy. It says milk. milk Milk Chewy. Milk Chewy. And it, it's like oh in a God. Tootsie Roll Pop kind yeah. of texture, consistency, but, pure white. It's hard as a rock though. Is it? Well, I'm yeah. assuming it's gonna be pretty chewy. Okay. Once you put it in. Like the middle of an Abba Zabba, right? Yeah. Ready? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so it's a little bit harder than I anticipated. Really creamy. Like the middle of an Abba Zabba. Or the outside of an Abba Zabba. Have you ever had an Abba Zabba? No. It's a milk toffee with peanut butter in the middle. I need to find an Abba Zabba and get you one. Oh. Okay, so what this is, it's pretty much vanilla milk mm -hmm. into a candy. Again, like a Tootsie Roll. Like the vanilla Tootsie Rolls. But it rolls. has... It has like that... Uh, Mm. The Tootsies. Yeah. Just the little white Tootsies. The vanilla mm -hmm. white Tootsies. That's exactly what it is. I was and a little like scared those. thinking that this was just going to taste like milk. Mm -hmm. I myself, I love milk. Mm -hmm. I still drink milk to this day. You have to. Strong bones. But, um... But that's a vanilla Tootsie Roll. I wouldn't have wanted milk in a candy just to taste like milk. Yeah. But, I do like this. I don't think I could eat, like, sit here and eat a handful of them. No, they're extremely rich. They are extremely rich. I'm still gonna say seven though for the novelty factor, but we got we got vanilla tootsies here, man. Yeah, we can... uh, I'm gonna go uh, go with the six. So, still tasty. We're down to the final item. Here you go. Oh man. Oh I'll Let man. you guys go take this. It's a brown candy, so I'm scared to read it. Napoleon. And I'm scared that it's gonna say coffee. No, it's probably coffee. Okay, one, two, three, go. Coffee? No. But it's an item to me that is just as bad. What? Black licorice and salt. Do I want to risk it? Well, for the YouTube views, yeah, I do. All right, everybody. I'm going to hate this. It's going to get spat up. Cheers it. For the YouTube views, Vince. I hate my um, life. Waiting for flavor. Waiting for flavor. It just tastes like I took a scoop of salt out of the fucking bowl. It is very really salty. Face. It's extremely salty. I can taste the salt, but I don't taste any flavor. Like Nope, it's just salt. It is just it's salt. It's just pure salt. No. One. Um, I can't. That was it. Oh my god. That makes me really, like... Thirsty. thirsty yeah like that takes all of the spit out of your face and turns it into salt water my god what is the inside good i mean i don't mind salt like really high salt though in candy form like my brain it's not overpowering salt like that was yeah that was like that hit literally you. a tablespoon of salt in your mouth this yeah. one is like Oh, we took this candy that has no flavor and we rolled it in salt and there you go. Yeah. Like, I don't taste any black licorice. I'm, I'm thankful for it. Yeah. But. You still get a two though, man. That's a two. Three. Well, when we do these things, we usually say best and worst. 
This is extremely easy. Extremely easy. Worst. Mmm, cookies, best. Mm. Cookies are one. good. Mm. Those good, are good. The orange the, the, things. The, the, these things, and the chippies. And the paprika cookies. Cookies, oh, cookies. Oh, the paprika the pizza chips. chips. Oh. Yeah, I have to agree with you. If you said those three exactly, I agree with you exactly. The rest was kind of ass. <laughs> <laughs> best way to say it. All right. So, now... We guess. Are you ready for the hint? Hit me. Okay, if there is a hint anymore, I don't know. Clue yeah. to next month's box. Yes. Uh, next month, there will be dragons and firework displays. Mm. You will hear bagpipes and carolers singing Vieseli Venois when the holidays roll around. It's always more fun to celebrate this special season with everyone. Dragons, fireworks, and bagpipes and carolers. I don't know that that splits between Scotland and, and like China. China. That's what I was thinking exactly. Like, Scotland is bagpipes, fireworks is China, and dragons, dragons are, China. are China. But maybe it's a mashup box, like half. No, I, I'm 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 gonna go with Scotland. Gonna go with Scotland just because. Um, what is it? Uh, Rain of fire. Yes. They originate in Scotland. The dragons yes. do. So I'm going with Scotland. Just because of bagpipes, I'll say Scotland too. But I hope it's also China because that would be cool. But then again, I don't know if they do another Scotland box. Because remember, UK includes Scotland. Scotland. So You're right. I'm not sure on that one. Please, guys. Guess. If you made it to the end of this video, leave your guess down below. Do you know more than we do? What What's going on there? What's going on, Charlie Brown? So, and if you want a box like this, go to universalyums.com, and you too can have delicious cookies, yummy chips, and pure salts delivered yeah. to your door. And finally, uh, if you don't remember, uh, when we hit 200 subscribers, we are upping this to the full box. So we get the 12 snack box. I believe there's a 20 snack box. So if you we if I get to 200, we're upgrading to two, uh, 20 snacks. And we got a feast here. We'll have them there. <laughs> A third of it. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Go support Universal Yum. Support us on Twitter, Facebook. Eat some snacks. Tell us some snacks. And we'll see you guys in the next country. Later, dudes! <laughs>